in. <laughs> this is the sixth time I filmed this intro. Can I just come in? Yes, you can. All right, <laughs> guys, here's the deal. Look what we've got in the Alpha M house. My man and new friend, Jeremy Fragrance. Say Thank hey you, to the guys. Aaron. Thank you very much, Aaron. Guys, I'm Jeremy Fragrance. So whenever you look for fragrances, just go Jeremy Fragrance or type whatever you want into YouTube. There's going to be a link down in the description. <laughs> if you guys are looking for the best content, the best information on fragrances, you got to go subscribe to Jeremy's channel. The deal is this. The reason why I love Jeremy's content so much and personally, the reason why I feel like you have grown so much is because he's not a cologne snob. But at the end of the day, it's about compliments. It's about smelling good and getting attention and attraction from spicy senoritas. That's what we all go for. We dress nice nicely to look cool, of course to women, but also to the all other people around us. We have to be honest right here and that's what I focus on, smelling good so people like you and also wearing the right fragrance. You shouldn't wear a bubblegum fragrance to the professional office setting, wear rather a nice clean soapy fragrance with a nice character which doesn't smell boring. So whatever you need for advice, I give you on my channel. And so we went shopping for three fragrances before we revealed the three most popular and complimented fragrances. I'd like to show you a little sexy footage. It's fragrance shopping with the man himself, Jeremy Fragrance. This is like a dream come true. For example is the fragrance that started my journey. So whenever somebody asked me, what is the fragrance if you would keep one for the rest of your life it's this one La Nuit de Lomba Yves Saint Laurent it's not the best one but for me it's the most important one Aqua di Gio Profumo that's the one already good one this is a fragrance you can wear anytime everywhere anywhere we are not sponsored by this this is my pure honest opinion Aaron doesn't care about what I say right here this is a sure. great fragrance you can wear it's anytime true. everywhere I love I love the old aqua. Aqua di Gio Profumo. So Aqua di Gio is a top seller in America. Everybody I love the old aqua, yeah. right? It's a fresh fragrance. It's a great fragrance. Every girl loves it. This one is a better version of it. It has the addition of incense and patchouli. Patchouli is a dark, earthy, nice, clean fragrance note. And this one, the cool thing about this is it lasts three times as long as the original Aqua di Gio. It's more versatile because now you can also wear it in the fall and winter time where Aqua di Gio was only a spring summer fragrance and it gets fantastic compliments. I get so many compliments from this. We are talking here about most complimented fragrances and this is one of those Swiss army knives that always gets great compliments. And the cool thing is there are other sexy fragrances around but you can imagine they are like the Ed Hardy. They are sexy now, but in three years, the scent DNA is not modern So you're, gonna, you're saying that this fragrance is something that's going to be always sexy, cool. cool for... Like a black leather jacket, like a navy blue suit, it will always work. The Aqua Di Gio DNA will always work, and this is just a much better version. So don't forget, it's the Profumo version. Yo guys, if you want to know how I test fragrances, usually I always wear suits, but after half of the day I change into t-shirts, so I have eight spots to spray my fragrances on to test them. So I have every day eight fragrances on myself. I have one, two, three, four, and the exact same thing on the other hand to see how long does this last, how long does this last. Alright guys, the second most complimented fragrance is... It's Spice Bomb Extreme and it's a nice contrast to the first one that we talked about because this is a clear winter fragrance. So it's very spicy, oriental and warming. It has a typical note of vanilla and cinnamon. You don't want to wear vanilla and cinnamon in the hot daytime. It becomes cloying and annoying. But just five days ago, I was at dinner. This fragrance was cooking nicely. Cooking? I yeah, like I said, cooking. You had, different fragrances have different scent characters. Some have piercing notes, very citrusy, that get your attention like, ooh, what was that? But <laughs> if you go to dinner, you don't want to annoy people with, spi with very citrusy, aggressive stuff. You want fragrances to cook nicely with nice warming cinnamon, if it's appropriate. And we are here and right now still in cold environment. Yeah. So Spice Pump Extreme would be a nice winter fragrance that gets you a lot. Affordable? Of, yes, it's absolutely affordable. Same price range. It's not cheap. It's in the seventy to ninety dollar range. We'll them. link. We'll link to all three of these fragrances yeah. down in the description over on Amazon if you want to check them out. Yeah. Um. But but I didn't get to smell that one. But it's we good. we couldn't find it at the store we were at. But that's all right. The third one I actually happen to know very it. well, and it is. 
and it's not sponsored nothing this is a clear great fragrance right here he even asked me if this one is a fake no you got yourself <laughs> an original one it's aventus i so. it's a funny story about yeah. aventus Fantastic. I got I got sent this um, from uh, fragrancenet.com yeah. one time, and I they were like, "Hey, we'll send you a fragrance. What do you want?" I said, "I've heard a lot you about Creed. I want to try Adventus. I got it. I smelled it. I wasn't wild about it. And yeah. I gave it to my dad, uh -huh. and he tried. He's like, ah, he sprayed it on. His wife didn't really like it. I got it back. I went out to dinner and met a gentleman. Gave him a hug. Yeah. I'm like, man, you smell incredible. What is that? Yeah. And he said, Adventus. I said, really? Yeah. I went home. I put it on the very next day, and I have loved it. I get more compliments it's going fun. like, at, like put, from dudes. I get compliments yeah. from from baristas at Starbucks. Yeah. I get more compliments. Very what is it about fragrance. this, Jeremy? This fragrance, for example, is one of those fragrances that's very piercing and attention grabbing. If you spray this on your hand, you show this to a girl. Oftentimes, she will say, I don't like it because it's very strong, it's very piercing. But if it lingers around in the air, it's such a gorgeous attention grabber. It's a citrusy based fragrance. So yeah, it's light, it's, yeah, it's light, but very it's... Aromatic. Yeah. Creed says they're using ambergris in this one, which is the most expensive fragrance ingredient in the world, which is whale puke, which is a, <laughs> it's whale puke. Whale puke? <laughs> it costs $5 per drop, which means $250,000 per liter. And it gives a nice transparent woody vibe mixed with that nice citrusy vibe. It's just a great compliment getter. It's extremely expensive. So if it's too expensive for you, don't worry. There are other fragrances that are also good, like Dior Sauvage, advertised by Johnny Depp. It's also same category, but this one definitely will get you immense compliments. 100%. It is. It absolutely has. Like, and I can attest that this stuff it gets me more compliments, yeah. and I just I just love it, and so I keep buying it. Yeah. And you and know, if you look like he. He's cool, he has confidence, a nice leather jacket, and you more likely get compliments. Well, the other thing is that you're probably like, dude, how tall is Jeremy or how short is Alpha? I'm five foot six, how tall are you? Six foot three. Six foot three. I'm one meter ninety. One meter, I, six foot three. All I know is that he is tall. He is just this incredible, like the coolest thing about Jeremy, when he walks in the room, he has so much presence and charisma. It's amazing to be around somebody who knows so much, who is so engaging, and he spins like a top. <laughs> Gentlemen, spin. Jeremy, thank you so much, Aaron, brother. you're such a cool guy, man. You're so cool. Guys, down in the description, go check out Jeremy's fragrance chat. Jer ah, Jeremy's fragrance show. <laughs> Where can they find you, Jeremy? Yeah, just type in Jeremy Fragrance and you find me everywhere. Instagram, Facebook, Jeremy Fragrance. He's the me. man. He's not a snob when it comes to cologne. And that's what I love about Jeremy. He's real. He's down to earth. And he knows more about fragrance than anybody online. Gentlemen, link below. Subscribe. Show him some love. Thanks, guys. Peace.